Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Build with Audi. Uh, as you can see, I, I have I actually have a lot of different projects going on right now that I'm working on. Working on uh, getting recorded for everybody. So I'm here back at the entrance of the city and I'm just going to get right into it today. I'm working on uh, throwing in this library over on the left side, or I guess it's like the south side, I don't know. Thrown in the library, and it's actually a pretty cool build. It, it was about the size I wanted it. Finally, something that was big as I wanted it. So here you go. Let's get started. So I am going to be doing an actual build this episode. As I said, I'm going to make that big library. Um, but first, I wanted to finish off uh, the end of this river. As you can see, it just kind of abruptly stops here. Uh, rather than making it go the rest of the way through the, the village, I wanted it to here go underground, so I made... Uh, a little culvert. I basically wanted to open up this space over here on the end so I could use that whole area for the library. So I wanted to make a little culvert um, where the water would run underneath the remaining portion of the city and then kind of pop out into the ocean on the other side. <laughs> and as you can see the mobs are going nuts just just swarming me like crazy here. Uh, I think later on in the episode I eventually figured out just to switch that over to peaceful. Uh, so here's what I ended up with, again, for this little Passover that goes right over this culvert. And uh, then I decided to go ahead and go underground here uh, and sort of line this this uh, sewer, or rather stormwater uh, passageway. It, it got really tight in there with this the, the camera that I use. So it was kind of difficult to fit in there while I was actually doing this, but I figured I would just go back in after and go ahead and show you guys the inside. And as you can see, it's kind of going to bend around a couple corners and it will eventually pop out the other side and then I will show you the uh, design that I ended up with for the outflow area into the uh, into this big bay type water feature. So this is the outlet I made for this little storm sewer and I wish I would have recorded this but there it is completed and now let's move on to the build itself. So I started the same way I basically do all my builds. I, I threw down some foundations to show where I want everything to be, uh, toss up some walls, and then uh, I actually just recently got everything updated to 1.6 and guess what? Freaking fantastic! We have cor quartz, I think is what it's called. And with quartz, uh, you can actually make what quartz columns. And I wish that I would have had these for the rest of the build. Um, would have made things a lot easier to make columns and such. But I got them now, so I can't complain. And I definitely used the heck out of them on this library. So anyway, you see me uh, d developing the front facade of this building. Uh, it took me a while to kind of get down uh, a pattern I thought I would be okay with in the end. Uh, eventually it looked alright, and then uh, one thing you'll notice here is I have the stone set up behind. You, you, a good way to get more detail into your builds is to sort of layer walls so that you can dig into the first wall and there's still something behind it and it, it will look a little plain at first but when I start adding the columns in the front and sort of the, the doorways and some windows and things it will start to look a lot more full so that that's always a good way to add more details to layer walls like that and then what you're gonna see me doing here is laying out the uh, the, the foundation for the remaining portion of the library or the other wings. It's going to have two large large wings coming out, sort of sort of like the uh, main building we made, the town hall or whatever. Uh, kind of like that, except it, it's going to be distinctly different. But before I start on those wings, I wanted to go ahead and stick these columns in here. I was so freaking excited to use these, and they actually looked really good in the end. Uh, so I played around with some designs uh, for the front here. Four columns, six columns, four columns with two half columns, columns as big as your head. Oh, I had to do that. I, I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. 
So anyway, uh, the, back to the columns. I, I kind of struggled with those, the whole build. I went back and forth, you know, between how many I wanted. I eventually ended up with how many I wanted, and then you'll also see me start putting in the roof here, uh, which I decided to go with a, a roof very similar to the temple roof, uh, but it's sort of half the slope. You'll see I go over two and up one half slabs, uh, and then I throw in some decoration for that little empty place, toss in some torches, you know, the usual, the usual homely touches that we, we like to have in our buildings. Forget plumbing or... You know, lighting. I guess that's lighting. Torches are light. That's not electricity. But who needs plumbing? Toy like toilets? I I don't need a toilet really. I feel like I could just use a hole. That's probably what the Romans use most of the time. That they're, they're okay, honey. I'm done killing my goat. I'm gonna go use the hole now. Uh, be back in a few. Um, I, please stock up on on the soft leaves because I may use the rest. Uh, so so anyway. Um, as you can see, I'm changing my mind yet again with the columns. I uh, made this little nice entryway type deal. I think that's going to go away eventually um, by the end of the build. But there you go, that's the front facade sort of taken care of. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to toss on this roof. Uh, and I wanted to try to do something really cool with this roof. I wanted to throw a... well, I guess I'm not throwing it. That'd be an extremely heavy thing to try to throw. Placing? Pl placing might might work better. Placing a uh, a big oval dome top on, topper on this roof. I know the Romans used domes and like archways and, and crap like that, so we go ahead and, and throw a dome on here. Uh, that's why you see me leaving this hole, so sort of a big open space in the roof for now. But this is not to be confused with the uh, previously aforementioned, if you will, the, the aforementioned poop hole that I was talking about. We don't want to be pooping in the roof. Um, that would be interesting for any guests coming into the library. Uh, sir, I think you have a leak in your ceiling. Oh, oh no, we just we just like to poop up there. That's uh, that's a thing we do. Uh, but. On an unrelated note, as you see me finishing up this oval here, that was really tricky, uh, not only to get the oval shape, but also to line it with the steps and get those to work right. Little did I know, Minecraft actually, or World Edit actually has a command where you can just, it just makes ovals for you, so I should have probably just stuck with that, but it turned out fine by hand anyways, so, so that was great. Alright, and then I wanted to go ahead and stick another little baby dome on top of this dome. Uh, just kind of for an effect of a multi-tiered dome. Not like the dome's crying, just tears as in like levels of the dome. Rather than like cry like tears of crying of the dome. Uh, but anyway, you get the point. So, there so there's that. Once I got the dome deal kind of finished up, I went around, finished up the roof. And then you'll see me playing around with different, uh, kind of, uh, I don't want to call it a skirt. What's it called? Like a, like a rim around the dome, just to kind of make the edges stick out, stand out a little more. Um, so there's that. And then, after this, I'm going to go ahead and move on to, uh, adding the wings onto the library. So there's that uh, roof skirt deal I was talking about, uh, and I tr played around with a couple different styles, different looks, and I ended up with something I liked, and you'll see here in a second. So there is a good, a decent view of this little uh, rim that I had go around the roof, and I'm going to move on to make the actual wings. 
and what I wanted to go for with the wings of the library were I want to have sort of a piece that connects the main wing, so like a little like hallway type structure, and then I'll have the big wing itself. So here's that little thing, and, and each of them are going to have like multiple tiers uh, of columns. Again, these these aren't going to be tiers uh, like like they're crying. The hallways the hallways aren't going to be crying. Just tiers as in like levels of the building. I, I don't want anyone to be confused. There's buildings don't cry. If they cry, that's bad. They're leaking. You could get mildew. Uh, bad bad things happen for this, to the structural integrity of the building. You don't want leaking buildings. Um, but sarcasm aside, there's the little deal I was building, the little connector piece. Um, I ended up going with the actual wing itself. I inverted the uh, stone brick in the column so that the columns are actually on the outside. It was a good effect. I actually like that a lot better. Uh, so pretty soon here you'll see me actually start building these outer wings. Now for these outer wings, I wanted them to be very large, um, and again have multiple tiers. I'm not going to talk about the tiers anymore, uh, but at least like three levels of of building. Went around. I mess with the uh, spacing of the columns a lot. I wanted the interior walls to be offset to add some more depth to the building, and then uh, the windows were kind of tricky too. I mess with the windows a lot, and then you'll eventually see me go up and just throw on another level. Um, and I eventually went back and changed the second level. You'll see it at first is offset by one. Kind of makes like a, a cake type look. And I didn't like that, so I, I went back and pulled the walls out and made them line up. And then the top level will be much smaller. Uh, and then here you see me, I'm actually duplicating that roof slab that I have on the centerpiece. I wanted to make sure and carry that style over. And just a quick tip here while, while I'm on the subject of building, when when you make these things you want to make sure and have them an odd number of spaces uh, so that so that you can um, make it symmetrical, not only symmetrical but so that things like columns and such can be spaced evenly and you can have windows in the middle. You don't want to have an even number of windows usually because it makes it hard to do things with the stairs later that, that you use for decoration and stuff. So just quick builder's tip And so I, I may have lied earlier, actually, I, I am going to put this third tier on, it's going to be smaller, and then there's even going to be another little baby one up there on top just to add even more complexity to the structure uh, and just another level uh, of detail. And there you go, that's uh, the, wing, the right wing is pretty much complete. Now this is the coolest part of World Edit for me. You can just copy and paste big chunks of buildings like this over if you have a symmetrical building. So what I did is just went up, copied and pasted each of those little sections and threw them down on the other side. And that saved me probably several hours of plonking blocks down. Next time, I'm going to be taking a look at the aqueduct, hopefully. I've actually been doing some work on it already. Uh, it's pretty massive, 
So uh, if you if you want to see the aqueduct, go ahead, like and subscribe. Maybe favorite. Maybe maybe drop a comment. You know, do it. Do what you do. You know, do you, bro. Uh, and we'll be back hopefully next week with some more building. Hi, right, deuces, Minecraft homie.